on the mountainside where I meet my masters. Tell me more about this mountainside. Connect, so feel the earth, take a nice deep breath, connect with all the potent energy in the air. Look around, feel yourself. And tell me, what do you see in front of you? I see a concrete city place where I meet my masters. Are you going to a temple? Where do you meet the masters? It's on the outside. Mm -hmm. On the mountainside. I want you to start taking steps towards that mountainside. Feel your body taking steps. And go into the rhythm as you walk to the mountainside to meet your masters. It's kind of like a movie. One scene closes, then another scene opens. You are there, you're at the mountainside. Is this like a sacred place? Yes. Okay. What are the vibrations there? How do you feel there? Very good. Very good. Amplify that feeling good. Take it deeper, absorb it, and sink in deeper. Allow that energy to penetrate through you. And tell me, what happens next? Who are your masters? Metatron and... Trust your knowing, trust your knowing. Whatever is showing up, Metatron. And how do you experience that? Is it a presence that you feel or is it something you see? Something I see. Uh huh. Can you describe the Metatron? Feel into it, take a nice deep breath, connect with it, take it all in. And relax into it. It's in a robe outfit with a goofy or hat pointed. Seems to be in a gray, blue outfit. Look at your own body in this scene. Tell me, do you have a body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Connect through the eyes. Look him into the eyes so that you can synchronize, harmonize energies. Allowing the communication to strengthen between you two. What is he communicating with you? To you, through you? With me or with my master? What is the master communicating to you? Is he inviting you to a temple or to a sacred uh, circle? What needs to take place next? It says be calm. Be calm. Mm -hmm. Allow him to help you become calm. Just as I touch your heart, loud energy from the master to enter your heart space. So be loving. Be loving. Mm -hmm. So be kind. Just accept all that is. Just be all that is. Do you have a hard time accepting some things? I right. say so repeat. Do you have a hard time accepting some of the circumstances in your life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about those difficulties. Loving. 
Accepting love. So you have a hard time receiving love and accepting love. Is that what you is that what you're saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper into this. So from what you're saying, there is some kind of a block in receiving love. Yes. Where you when you scan your body right now. Do you feel it on physical level as well? How do you experience it? And the stiffness in my legs, the restriction in my circulation in legs and arms. Can we ask the Metatron to help you heal or should we access another reality, another dimension to help let go of the stiffness? What is the Metatron telling you? It's easier said than done, right? Accept. But how do you do that? How do you let go? Release. Release. Let's find a place near that mountainside with water, crystalline living water. Just follow your instinct and find a healing place in nature. And allow yourself to step into the water and allow all the stiffness from the circulatory system, your veins, your legs, to be absorbed by the water. Can we do that? Yes. Beautiful. Now I'd like to call upon my spiritual army, my team, I'm calling upon angels and seven masters to help this surgery, letting go purifying not just the body but the entire blueprint spiritual mental emotional blueprint of George allow yourself to simply dissolve altogether completely giving the power to this energy to take over and to work on your neurological mad on your spine, on your veins, on your heart, cardiovascular system, musculatory system. And tell me if it's happening. All I ask is that fully trust and knowing keep sinking down, dropping deeper. Because the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. So allow yourself to completely let go of any inhibitions, any control over this experience so that you can receive all the gifts of healing, information, expansion. I would like for you, from where you are, the perspective of where you are in this healing place, to look at the sky. Can you see a sky from where you are? Yes. Beautiful. Allow yourself to choose a cloud, a nice cloud on the sky. Okay. And let's lift you off the ground. Allow yourself to lift off the ground. Like if there's no gravity, you're being pulled gently towards this cloud. Eventually, I want you to lift enough so that you can lay down on the cloud and release completely all your weight, 
on to the cloud, knowing that the cloud will absorb your wind, you will fall down, you're just melting onto the cloud, become one with the cloud. How does it feel for you, George, to lay on a cloud? It's comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Let's amplify this feeling of comfort. You can wrap yourself with this cloud like a blanket. Let's also wrap you with a light. I want you to envision a pyramid entirely made of white light coming towards you. And I want you to become one with the pyramid so that you're fully enclosed, protected by the white light. Nothing can harm you, nothing can hurt you. On any level of existence, you know it, you feel it, and it feels very, very good. Accept it as the truth. And let me know if you are enveloped in the pyramid of white light. Yes. Wonderful. Now we're ready to start slowly drifting and floating, floating and drifting. As the cloud is moving and it's taking you on a journey above the lands, different landscapes, cities, rivers, even the ocean, carrying you with it, comfortable, protected and safe. And this cloud has magical properties to take you back and back in time and space into another time, another place where something important is happening. Something we would like to see and describe. Something that can help you heal your body, ascend, connect with the seven masters, gain the knowledge. And we trust in knowing we drift and float, float and drift through time and space into another time, another place where something important is happening. And this will happen automatically. All I need you to do is allow it for you to surrender to it. You don't have to do anything. Just go with this energy like a wind, like a breeze, taking you to the most appropriate experience. And when we get there, and the cloud will stop, when you get there, start slowly drifting off the cloud, like a leaf drifting down towards the surface. It will be a gentle motion, nothing abrupt. You just sink down and down and down through time and space, connecting to the most appropriate experience where something important is happening. No matter what that is, no matter where that is, and eventually, you'll be able to anchor your perception into that reality. And once you connect with the surface, ground yourself, solidify yourself. And whenever you're ready, share with me, what are your first impressions of where you are. 
You see smoke around me. Smoke. Take a nice deep breath. Connect to the smoke. Is the smoke coming from any direction? Or is it all around you? Just around me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you breathe in that smoke? What is this smoke like? I can breathe in it. Mm -hmm. Ground in your body. Look at your body. Feel your body in that space. Are you a man or a woman? A man. And does the body feel strong and young, middle age? Do you fit do you feel fit? Do you feel older? Strong and young. Beautiful. Look at your clothes. So we pause that scene when you look at the elements. Look at your skin, look at your clothing. Any other details you're able to describe? Smoke is coming from a house. Is it like a fire? I don't see a fire. Uh -huh. Does it smoke like somebody is mm, using a coal or wood in a chimney? Seems like it's attracting you. Let's find out if this is your house. Walk towards that house. And let's find out what is the connection between you and that house. I don't know. Somebody's burning. Somebody's burning wood or something. Mm -hmm. Do you see the house? Yes. Uh -huh. Come closer. Look at the house. Look at the details. A square house. Is it one story or higher? One story. Mm -hmm. Is this a part of a neighborhood or a single house? It's part of a neighborhood. Uh huh. Okay. Let's look if there are any. There's any information like street signs, any kind of information that will give you more idea of where you are. I just trust the knowing you can also walk into the house, find a calendar on a wall. Orient yourself in this space-time reality. Open the door, feel your feet on the surface. Maybe it's a wooden floor. A carpet. Carpet. Mm -hmm. Can you see the color of the carpet? It's a brown. Look at the Furniture. Are you in the living room? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a nice deep breath, connect with that place. You can touch the furniture, look at the clock, see if there's any newspaper on the table, calendar, any kind of indication. When you look at the style of the furniture, perhaps it will give you a hint. Everything is, is kind of square. I see a newspaper, but it's in a foreign language. Foreign language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Touch the newspaper and also smell the paper. That will be connect deeper. And there should be a date on the front page. Perhaps it will be accessible. You said everything is kind of square. What do you mean by that? The design of the buildings are square. Uh, the design of the furniture is square. Mm -hmm. It's a very different style than you're used to. Yes. Do you live in this house? Yes. Okay. I want you to find your favorite seat, a chair, where you sit down and you read newspapers every day. Just follow your instinct. Follow your knowing. Okay. I found a chair. 
It's a red chair. I want a blue jacket on, bright blue. Mm -hmm. Only thing, only numbers I see on that paper are 1292. 1292. Yeah. I would like for you to find a mirror, either in your pocket or somewhere in the room. And I want you to, or in the bathroom, and I want you to look at your reflection and tell me yeah. what you look like. In the bathroom, um, I seem to be uh, yellowish, round faced, uh, European, medium height. Look yourself in the eyes, connect with the eyes and your emotions. So you can give more access to the personality, the life of that man. Do you see the color of the eyes? The color of his eyes. Your eyes in that moment. Blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. So blue eyes. You said brown skin, European or light skin? Light skin, uh, medium tone, yellowish, uh, medium light skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how old are you, more or less? Forty. And when you look at yourself in a mirror, anything that strikes you, emotions or just accessing the blueprint of that man in a mirror, that man in that house, what kind of man is he? What kind of man are you? Mm, pleasant. Pleasant, uh-huh. Do you have a good life? Yes. Look at the appliances in the bathroom. See if maybe there's somebody else living there. What is your instinct telling you? Yes. Okay. Should we look around the house and see other rooms? What feels right? A bedroom. Very, very simple. Simple. And a bedroom. This is the bed. Is I see the bed is a, like a blue covering, blue blanket, or something like that. Mm -hmm. The dresser. Uh, everything is a square design. Okay. Okay. Um, do you see any signs that there is another person living there? Maybe wife, maybe children. Is this bed for one person or two separate beds? No, it's a medium sized bed, perhaps for uh, someone else too. Mm -hmm. Look around, open the dresser and see what's inside the drawers. Okay, I see lingerie. Okay. Um, if you want, touch it and smell it. If this is your partner, it will have her scent, right? Yeah, it does have a scent. Mm -hmm. But this is a familiar smell in that life. Yes. It's another person that lives there. Okay, very good. How big is the house? It's a smaller house, very simple. Simple, small house. Uh -huh. Seems like comfortable. The yes. guy is content with his life. Yes, it's very neat, clean, comfortable. Mm -hmm. And surrounding the house, is there any garden? Look out the window and tell me, what do you see outside of the window? Just grass. Everything is very basic, very simple. Very basic. Very and simple. neat. Organized, orderly, yes. it seems like. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to lay down on this bed. 
in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And let's go deeper, deeper, deeper into this man's life. And as you're resting, allowing yourself to connect with this life, taking a nap on this bed, let's close the scene and travel to another scene in this man's life. When something important is happening, it could be a simple thing, but it's important in his reality. We can go either back or forth. Seems like there's a war brewing coming up. How do you know about that? I just see uh, and feel uh, uh, the gathering of weapons or something. Yes. Like rif rifles. Rifles. Or, yeah. mm -hmm. Are you participating? Are you going to participate in this yes. war? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move forward with that and see how the situation develops. Let's connect to a scene, perhaps a battlefield, possibility mm -hmm. gathering of weapons. So there might or might not be a war. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like I'm coming to a coming together. Um, um, Gathering together, uh, practicing. I don't see a war. Gotcha. Preparation. Preparation, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. So do you practice shooting or, or using the yes. actual rifle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's feel into it. When you actually have the rifle gun in your hands mm -hmm. and you aim at the target, can we do that? Yes. Very good. Are you looking at the target? Yes. Okay, aim at it and shoot. We need to have a yeah. visceral experience. How does it feel? It feels... Empowering? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And you feel a sense of safety because you can protect yourself? Yes. In that moment? Okay. Anything else important emotionally, mentally that's happening right now? But we should take a nice deep breath and... Just feel the energy of that scene. You said there are other men. Is there anybody else you're particularly connecting with in that scene, like your friend or ally? I see other soldiers. Soldiers. Mm -hmm. Do they wear uniforms? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Do you wear a uniform? Look at yourself, look at your own body. That's yes. Uh-huh. What color is the uniform? Brown. Brown. Light. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a formal gathering, formal preparation. Yes. Okay. Let's move forward in this man's life journey and see what else takes place. Let's see if the war actually takes place or some yeah. other. Yeah. Yes, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. That we're shooting at each other with the gun. Mm -hmm. There are larger guns, weapons, ta uh, tanks, or uh, cannons. cannons uh -huh. yes. So, is this weaponry kind of old from several hundreds of years ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. So probably heavy metallic, you can really feel the physicality, right? And the the, yeah. the gravity of these weapons, the, yeah. the heaviness of it. Yeah. Are you afraid in that scene? Is he afraid? No. Mm -hmm. Going for the motions? He's he's ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell me, what happens to him? I mean, he's in combat. Anything can happen. I think he gets shot. He gets shot. Feel it in your body just for a moment so we know where he got shot. In the chest. In the chest. Upper chest right here? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me, did he die on this battlefield? Let's fast forward a little bit to see what happens if he's in a hospital or if he lost his life. And I think he died. He died. Okay. Let yourself cry and release the emotions. <laughs> it's a powerful scene, isn't it? Yes. And as the spirit separates from the body, what happens? Let's follow the spirit. Like he died. Seems like. And somewhere. Mm-hmm. Amongst the clouds. And I feel good. You feel good? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Safe? Again? Yeah. Feel that. Feel that deeply. Feel that safety. Let the emotions overwhelm you. It's absolutely okay. Safe. Peaceful, perhaps. Yes. You can let go of the stress of living in the body on the earth, right? So much tension, so much stress. Can we release it into the clouds? You said you're somewhere amongst the clouds. Can you open up, open up internally further to this energy? Where is it taking you? Or maybe you're just floating and drifting. I'm just floating, yes. Okay. Open up, release. It's like somebody's approaching. Who do you see? Mm. You detect. Could be like a presence, doesn't have to be physical. He's physical, I think he's there to direct me or teach me. Are you ready to connect? Yes. With that presence? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. Let's bind the energies, let's connect like puzzle pieces. Does he have a name? Or if it's she or it, is there a name? He. He? Jan. Jan. And he's here to show you, guide you, teach you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. He's asking me to follow him. Okay, let's follow him. It feels so good. I want you to absorb this goodness into the bones of your current body. So we're working multidimensionally. Bring this goodness into your own being in this moment. Can we do that? Yes. Beautiful. And follow him. You follow Joaf, you said, right? Yes. And where do you go? It's falling in the clouds. Now we're walking. Look around. Look up. Look down. Do you see colors? Blue colors, light blue. Light blue. Where is giraffe taking you? Oh, to meet the father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. Feel that love. <laughs> Accept that love. Say thank you. I say thank you. It's a sweet reunion, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, you deserve it. He's taking me somewhere. Let's follow along and let's see. It feels so good. Mm-hmm. I feel so happy. Yes, take it all in. He's got my hand. Is he touching your hand? Yeah, yes. he's got your hand. Uh huh. I want you to feel that love. This is for you. All of it is for you. Accept this gift as your birthright, as your ultimate reality. Then melt 
hundreds with it. Please be taking me to the goal of the city. Mm -hmm. Is this the city of Atlantis you mentioned earlier, or a different city? Let's find out. Relax into a trust and knowing. The city of light. It's bright. Start to see buildings. Structures. You're being shown this golden city for a reason, right? Yes. I think I'm at that temple that I was at. Yes. The glass temple. Yes. With the canopy, with nothing supports. And I'm in the temple again. Beautiful. The beautiful colors. Feel the vibration of the temple. This temple is very, very powerful. Let it heal you. We're here to do a lot of healing. Can we use the vibration, the energies of this temple to align your body? Yes. Let's do that. Ask the energies to work for you and heal your bones and teeth and hips and gums, all those things you listed to help you restore your vision and activate also your spiritual energies. Beautiful pink inside and blues. Take a snapshot, like if you were with your camera, so then you can draw that image. I want you to just take snapshot in your mind through your third eye so you can always remember, you can connect to that temple to continue healing, aligning, and, and consciously going into this temple at will. Can we do that? So you always are connected. Yes. From now on, beautiful. You said pink. And blue. Blue. And white. And yellow. And gold. And these are living colors. It seems like they're not just visually beautiful, they're also alive. Yes. Allow the photonic light to work for you. Um, are you laying on a canopy? Or what is it that you feel called to do? You just need to rest there and receive? What is it that? needs to happen in the temple. I think it is a healing temple. Okay, very good. So you are there to receive. I want you to rest there and simply receive. Open up internally to the healing. Open up your heart. Open up your body. You can just breathe into the body. He's calling me there. I think he's a Healer, our teacher, is calling me okay. further back into the temple. Very good. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Seems to be healing water or something. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to drink that water? No, I think I'm supposed to get in it. Uh huh. So I, I submerge in it. Covering my body. Is it pulling the toxins out of you? Yes. Very good. Release. He's circulating it around and around over my body. He's sending me energies of love, energies of healing. I completely rebuild your body to optimum health and beauty. Restore your memories. Raise your IQ. Renew your back. Balance blood pressure. All those things you, you listed. Renew your prostate, pelvic floor, and hips. He says yes. Beautiful. Let it work on your eyes. 
and your heart. He says yes. Wonderful. So we stay in that healing temple until you feel you receive the physical healing that you needed. It's filling me with light, golden light. Put that light into your spine as well in your nervous system. Let it work through your neurological net to restore your memory, to activate your DNA cells, to remember your past, to remember your path, to remember your youth, but also to remember your spiritual path and activate your divine blueprint. He says yes. Wonderful. We are so grateful. So grateful. I'm so happy for you. Take it all in. Take it all in, my dear. He's embracing me. Yeah. He's loving me. Unconditionally, right? Yeah, that is the direct experience of divinity. So he has finished the healing and now he's letting you go through the door? Yes. Okay. He says, I am free. You're free. Do you feel free? Yes. Feel that freedom in every cell as you step out of that temple. And where do you go next? Perhaps explore the beauty of the city. Are you still in the golden city? I'm in the stars now. In the stars. Beautiful. I'll see myself going back to a planet. Describe this planet to me. Going into a baby body. Mm -hmm. Incarnating into another body. Yes. That's a baby. Uh -huh. Is this planet Earth or another planet? This is the earth. So you're reborn. Yeah, I see myself being more than to this incarnation. Into this current incarnation. Yes. Okay, very good. Remember, you wanted to restore your memory, correct? Yes. You wanted to restore the, the earth memories from this life. Mm hmm let this energy show you, just like in the movie, the events that you wanted to connect with. Remember the eye of the cyclone, of the storm, the cyclone that swept the house and the voice that spoke to you. Let's restore all of the memories from your childhood that are relevant. Yeah, I'm back to when I'm four. And what is the scene that you are right now in? When I'm looking at the pornography. Ah. Feel it. Are you feeling, what are you feeling in this moment? George? I'm tearing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're tearing it up. I'm tearing it up. <laughs> what are you feeling? Feeling free. Free. You're letting go. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That was one of your questions, right? You wanted to let go of yes. this addiction, huh? Yes. Are we clearing this addiction right now? Yes. Very good. Let it completely do, disappear. Tear it apart, burn it. Free yourself from it. Yes. I'm <laughs> free. Thank you. Yeah, so you're doing, Thank you. You're doing so well. Thank you. <laughs> Feel the relief, George. Feel the relief. You're free of that. There is no more tendency in you to go back to it. Because now you're connected to this amazing light in the temple. To the Father. To the love. Direct love. Beautiful. Let me bring you a, a t-shirt. Just breathe and relax. Receive. So, from what I understand, what we're doing now, we're going through these stages of this life where there is repair, where there is work to be done, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. So that was a pivotal moment when you were first introduced to pornography. You tear it apart. Okay, yes. let's go to the next relevant scene in this life. When something happened that took you on a wrong trajectory, and we want to correct that behavior. I'm back at the tornado. Mm -hmm. I can see the Angel that was speaking to me, she's smiling. She's smiling. So she's protecting me. She raised the. She raised the. The, the bed over me and my cousin. She covered us with with the with the mattress as we are being taken out of the house and the, the wall is removed as we go out into the tornado and then we, and then I am then unconscious. So I wake up in the light rain and my aunt asked me if I'm okay, and I, I don't say anything when I'm okay. You are okay. Feel okay. How is the restoration of the memories helping you? How is it serving you? Why did you need to learn that? To know that I was and I am protected. Got it. So there was a doubt in your mind, in your heart, that yes. you are protected before. Yes. And now this doubt is being dissolved. Yes. Lifted off your chest. Yes. Sort of your consciousness. Yes. Take a nice deep breath and feel that freedom inside. That protection, that connection, that absolute presence of divinity within you and around you. Fill yourself up. And let's use this power to help heal all dimensions within you. I like this energy to help heal any dimensions that you have life in or you have lived in. I'm asking also for clearing across all of these dimensions, if there are any attachments, any thought forms, energy forms, foreign entities, forms of life that sort of hijacked your consciousness, a studio into the direction away from light, I feel there is one entity. You you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's connect with it. Let's give it a voice. If that entity 
had a voice, face, shape. What do you detect it, first of all? Check this a female. Mm-hmm. Where is it residing within you? Scan your body for me. Now, where do you feel that presence? In my heart. In your heart. Okay, so there is a female entity. I want you to um, see if you can sit with her like at the table and have a conversation. Yeah. She's a, uh, Who is she? To be an older female, Caucasian. Okay, can we speak directly to her? Yes. What is your name? Frida. Frida. Uh huh. And Frida, why are you a part of um, George's consciousness? How did you come to to um, take his body back? Because I hate. Mm -hmm. I hate. What else? Feel that. Okay. I hate. I hate you. She hates you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is um, your function, Frida, in George's life? What do you do to him? How is this, this hate affecting George? It affects your heart. It's from a past. I said, why? It says from a past incarnation. Mm -hmm. We had a relationship. Yeah. I was your wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Since you hated me, I love you. I love you now. Let's go to that online. Uh, Let her show you. And I would like you to connect to some events. What was the expression of that hate? You said you were not a good partner, right? So I her. didn't love her. You didn't. Mm -hmm. What did you do to hurt her? I killed her. You killed her. Mm -hmm. Just feel the emotion. Mm -hmm. You're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Killed her for no reason, mm -hmm. except I hated her. I so you have these arguments, misunderstanding, and it leads up to this rage and yes. Uh huh. I'm asking for her forgiveness. Yes. Let's take her to a healing te te temple, the one from the Golden City. <laughs> okay. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes. And let's ask your guide, your spirit guide, to perform a healing in the water, just like with you. Can we do that? Frida, is Frida green? Yeah, she's okay. in the water now. Very good. He's sending her light and love. She feels the light and love, she's happy. Okay. Let's spend some time there just to make sure that there is no connection anymore. Let the water dissolve the karmic connection, energetic connection, so that you are free. I want you to expand the heart. So as she's leaving your heart space, we can heal the heart and bring it back to its full health, full strength. So you can walk long distances so you don't get tired easily, right? As you described. So we need to replace the previous energy with that absolute love from the Father, from the temple, from the healing water. So I want you to do a scan wherever in your body there are these crevices, these parts of you that need to be filled up with that love. As Frida is dissolving, leaving your space, then we need to replace that old energy with the new one. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's work on that. She said, he loves me now. Mm-hmm. 
Beautiful. She's leaving me now. Very good. Let her go. Let her go. Enough is enough. The suffering of responsibility, right? Of guilt and shame. And let your heart open for her and heal all the arteries. Muscles. So the blood that's pumping is full of oxygen, full of life, full of energy, full of vitality. The Father is sending me light and love, and He is embracing me. And I thank you. Mm -hmm. I thank you. He says, Now I can go. I'm so grateful. So we are free. Let's go back to whatever is most relevant for you now to connect with, to experience, to feel. Retaining that peace, growing the health, the sense of vitality, revivification in all of your bodily systems, energetic mental systems. So we can once and for all clear any connections to people, circumstances that are weighing you down. You also went through the force in this lifetime, right? Is there anything yeah. we need to work on to make sure that there is nothing you carry that can weigh you down? I'm with my first wife. <clears throat> I'm asking her forgiveness. Yes. Should we do the same process? Talk to her directly. Yes. See if she needs the healing. Yes. Take her to the temple. She's in the water. She's in the water. Beautiful. And the Father is sending her light in his love. So there is no unhealthy bond between you two anymore, right? The idea is you both are free. Yes, I'm asking for her forgiveness. She says she loves me. She loves me. I love her. I'm giving her a love that I didn't give her. She accepts it. Mm -hmm. Is the reason you didn't give her love before is because you didn't fully love yourself? You um, felt the shame, you felt the. Um, perhaps you were blind, perhaps you were unconscious to those, to yes. those emotions. So yes. It wasn't necessarily intentional, it was subconscious. I didn't know how to give love. I didn't know how to love. How to express it. How to express it, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you express love now in this moment to her? How is this happening? From the heart. I'm embracing her. She's embracing me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The father is loving us both, embracing us both. Saying it's love and light. I want you to check your blueprint, your energetic blueprint and her blueprint to make sure that it is a healthy, glowing, vibrant web of connections. So both of you are restored to your full potentiality before you let her go fully. Use your abilities to see beyond the physical dimensions of the reality. To so check your own blueprint. If there is any residue, you we still need to purify. Let's work on that. There's no residue. The Father says there's no residue. You're clean. Very good. We are clear. Very good. Very good. So we let her go so she can continue on her journey and you can yes. continue your journey. Yes. Beautiful. He says, I can go. Wonderful. 
feel even greater sense of health, renewal, peace. We're here to activate some of your powers. I don't know if there is more healing that we need to do today or should we move into some of the metaphysical aspects of your life, the questions you had about your visions. Is it appropriate time to connect to your higher self? Scan, yeah, yeah very good. Scan yourself. You brought a few questions that are important to you. You want to work on your center, center for transformation. Mm -hmm. You wanted help so that there is no more blocks in receiving abundance, receiving the right kind of guidance, right? How to connect with the people on your path. Let's talk about that. Well, I had a question that I didn't write down, uh, mm -hmm. and that is my interest in bringing a center, a temple. Uh, I feel that it stems from a past incarnation, and I want to know if I was the George Williams that created the YMCA, since there's so many correlations. Uh, Let's ask that question and access the information. Just trust a knowing, walk into the library, or access directly from within. Just trust, drop into it. Drop into that frequency. It's like tuning into radio station. I want you to fine tune yourself again to that high vibrational place because we're going to anchor in it. This is going to be your everyday reality now. Bliss is the ultimate reality. And from there, you can access the information. Okay. I'm in the library. <clears throat> Ask for a book of your lives. And you will recognize it, you will feel it. Well, you, you had few questions. Right? Well, in regards to George Williams, which is my name, of course, um, I see him in the library there. Okay. I want you to take the book mm -hmm. and find a place where you can sit. Okay. And you can connect with the book. Mm -hmm. And let's ask some questions. First, when you open the book, look at the index and tell me how many chapters do you see? It could be a number. How many lifetimes on earth have you had? Many. Many. So hundreds. Is that what you mean? Several? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've been incarnating many, many times. Yes. And let's ask the book, what is the purpose of this lifetime for you and open it up. Just spread the word. Spread the word. To teach. Mm -hmm. To love. Yeah. To expand. Feel yourself expanding in this moment. To remove any blocks within that might be preventing you from expansion and perhaps opening the center for transformation. We're asking for guidance for those that can assist you on this path of spreading love, spreading word.
you said that you were interesting. You were interested in knowing who was your name in the past life in Elgin, Illinois. Is that information available? Let's ask if the book will reveal the answer in the 1930s. And what was the address of the shop or intersection? Let's ask if the book has a map, has an image for you. I keep getting the name Rufus. Rufus, uh-huh. Rufus Johnson. Rufus Johnson, okay. And any... 1232. 1232. 1232. This is some address in Elgin, Illinois, in yeah. the 30s, where you lived? No, this is where the shop was. Where the shop was. Okay. I'm looking for a street name. Okay. Well, let's go to the timeline where the shop stood there before the demolition, if it was demolished. Let's go to mm -hmm. a timeline where you can actually connect to the building and the physical address. Maybe it was Englewood, I'm thinking something like that. Okay. We're going to ask your higher self to continue working with you through your dreams after this session so more pieces can come to you. Um, George Williams is still sitting next to me in the library. He wants to, to talk with me. Wonderful. Let's facilitate this conversation. He says he is me. Are you supposed to integrate and connect and become one? Talk to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why were you separated for so long? Obviously, that's an illusion of separation, but that was your experience, right? Disconnected from yourself. Is that what you're referring to? If I understand mm -hmm. correctly. Just, let's talk to George. You're sitting yes. in the library with George. Mm -hmm. He says, he is you. Yes. He said that he wanted me to continue to work. The YMCA was at the beginning of the work. Okay. But he didn't finish it the way he wanted to. And he wants me to finish it through my programs. Not necessarily to be joined with the YMCA, but to continue with my programs. But this is your legacy. This is something yes. that you feel connected to, that you're yes. part of. Yes. Very good. Is this hoping to get that confirmation? Yes. Very good. If there's anything else he needs to communicate with you, let it happen telepathically. Uh, he said he loved me. He loves me. And I told him I loved him. I love him. I Can love you him. merge possibly, or at least create um, like a golden web between you two? So he a golden can, web, yes. Yes, so he can continue communicating, receiving yes. the information, guidance, and, yes. and inspiration, right, from him. Yes. And kind of like a father figure. Yes. Because you mentioned that with your father, you never had very emotional connection with, whereas with your mother only. Uh, much more so, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask also the book of your lives mm -hmm. to connect you with the crash, the accident, when you were mm -hmm. entering the tunnel. Yes. You said that the guide was trying to tell you something and you couldn't remember. Correct. 
can we connect to that moment in time? And now the channels are stronger and you can receive the information that was given to you at that time consciously. Yes. You just said I needed to go back. It wasn't time. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of this accident? Higher purpose, spiritual purpose. To slow me down. To slow you down. To stop you in your tracks, huh? so you could redirect. Yes. Your focus. Mm -hmm. So that I could be clear about my purpose. So that I could be open. Mm 